We also have what is called man in the middle attacks where the attacker stands between communication of two end systems somehow and has different variation based on the method being used. So for the attacker to stand in between the communication of two endpoints and grab his hands on the on the data being transferred back and forth, different uh, let's say attacks can be used, diff uh, like ARP spoofing, IP spoofing, DHCP spoofing, or DNS spoofing. Another variation of this attack is called men in the browser, which what this is is a malicious code which is installed in the victim's browser and ends up that the victim's browser traffic is being sent to the attacker. So we, commonly speaking with men in the browser, men in the middle attacks is like for example if test PCA wants to speak with test server A and looking at the current network diagram traffic would flow this way then for the attacker to launch a man in the middle attack and get guess, get his hands on the copy of the traffic being sent back and forth as long as the attacker is physically connected in the transit path somewhere like here the attacker then based on as I was saying based on R spoofing, MAC spoofing, DHCP spoofing, gateway spoofing, IP spoofing, it can actually uh, stay in line of the traffic. So what's going to happen is that test PCA and test server A are actually going to believe they speak one to each other, but actually both of them speak with the attacker. So test PCA is going to send traffic to the attacker and then the attacker intercepts the, dat the data, uses for its own purposes, and it also is going to be able to relay the traffic back to the destination. Then server A replies to the attacker, and the attacker again intercepts the data, makes a copy of it, and then resends the traffic to the destination. In this kind of attack, the user, the endpoints of the, um, of the communication are not even aware that traffic is flowing through a to the attacker's uh, end system. So that now man in the browser is a variation of that where uh, due to a malicious, where the attacker is not actually physically present in the transit path uh, between the two endpoints, but because due to a malicious code in the browser, then the attacker can get a copy of the victim's traffic.